Hey y'all, welcome back to Chasing Dreams Homestead. So today we are going to show you something super cool. We're going to show you how to make elderberry syrup without boiling the berries. Now y'all, I can't take credit for this. Our friend Karen Lynn Burr over on her YouTube channel that I am going to link in the comments is who turned us on to this. Y'all, not only is this lady cute as a button, but she knows so much about the healing properties and the chemistry and the science and everything else that goes with all things wild and beautiful in nature. She has an apothecary up in Indy, and like I said, I'm going to link her channel in the comments. But for today's purposes, I'm going to show y'all how to do it. So, Janarius, I'm going to show them our, our plethora of ripe elderberries. That's right, y'all. We got a bunch of them. Now, come on up in here and let them see the magic. So Karen showed in her video, just use a fork and break these little dudes off here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a fork. We're gonna get them off here. I got a lot to get off. Y'all be patient. Hang in there. Bam! Got them all done, y'all. Karen, Karen, Karen. You did not tell us it took this long to get the berries off the stem. But look how good they look, y'all. Yeah. I'm just joking, guys. It took, I don't know, 10 minutes, Genesis? Maybe. Yeah. So this is, yet again, one more time in case you missed it the first time. This is how you make no-boil elderberry syrup. Now, the reason that people always told you to boil the stuff was because in the seed pit, there's a little bit of cyanide-type stuff. Watch Karen's video. She knows all the terminology. It's big, but... That's a big jar, huh? As Karen said, and I loved it. Mama Dreams, you didn't get me a lid for this jar yet. But, uh... As Karen said, when you're boiling it because people told you that's what you're supposed to do to reduce the toxicity of it, you're boiling the bejesus out of it and you're getting all the nutrients out. Like, you're losing a lot. And we all know that. We, we, we know when you cook anything you lose some nutrients depending on the method that you use. So that's why we're not gonna boil this. We're going to keep this intact and we're going to make a no boil elderberry syrup. So we're almost to the next phase, y'all. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Now you gotta go on over, if you get a chance, check out Karen's video, but also join her YouTube channel and subscribe because guys, this lady, has so much awesome information that she's sharing with people about making their own herbal and medicinal remedies. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's our elderberries. Next step, bam! We're gonna cover that in some apple cider vinegar with the mother, y'all. She makes her own. Yep, she has her own. I get mine from Bragg's. <laughs> I'm not that cool yet, that's what I'm telling them. She's awesome sauce. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all we do. It's that easy peasy, simple, fresh and squeezy, y'all. Listen, all you gotta do, we're gonna put a lid on this. We're gonna set this somewhere dark and out of the way for six weeks. After six weeks, we will strain this, and then we can mix the actual extract with honey or all kinds of other herbal things to help us out in times of need. But this method here saves so much more of the nutritional and medicinal that is the biggest focus, medicinal value of the elderberry. Again, like I said, check out Karen's channel and her videos. She's awesome. She's who we got the idea from. And as always, y'all, till next time, keep dreaming.